family of a convicted murderer is fighting to keep her locked up. She killed her three young kids decades ago, but soon she could be free. Night Beat's Andrea Nakano has the story tonight from Daly City. On the morning of March 23, 1998, officers with the Daly City Police Department found the bodies of seven year old Antoinette, three year old Angelique, and two year old Alexandra. Taped their mouths, taped their hands, taped their feet, and smothered them one by one by one. Their mother, Megan Hogue, was convicted of murdering her own children. She was sentenced to 25 years to life, but now, just 20 years after the crime, a state parole board found her suitable for parole. When she was given 25 years to life, we were pretty much guaranteed that that was a life sentence. You know, nobody commits murder, murders three babies and gets out after 20 years. Damali Ross, the children's aunt and other family members are now turning to the public to keep Hogue behind bars. And it's like ripping the Band-Aid off of a wound that never quite healed. Um, we're in a tremendous amount of pain and we're angry. They want anyone who remembers this crime to write a letter to Governor Jerry Brown asking him to deny Hogue's parole. According to the San Mateo District Attorney's Office, Hogue has been caught dealing drugs in prison and would be a moderate risk when released. Family members say not only has Hogue not been a model prisoner, she has never shown remorse for killing her children. I'm a forgiving person. I mean, where's your heart? Somewhere in 20 years, you should have reached out to us. Somewhere in 20 years, you could have given us a letter, said sorry. And this family has suffered another tragedy since losing the girls. The father of the two younger children, Rafiq Roberts, passed away in 2013 due to complications with diabetes. His sister says he never recovered from losing his kids. The person that he was before, and the person that he was after, how can you get your children taken away from you and be the same person? Governor Brown has until August 10th to reverse the parole board's decision. If it's not reversed, Megan Hogue could be on the streets by April of next year. Andrea Nakano on the Night Beat.